<sighs> so, you just finished shooting your music video and you got all this footage. What now? Hey guys, welcome to the Filmora music video series. My name's Johnny, and today we're gonna be taking a look at how to back up and organize your files, just like we did for the music video for Blau's song, Tokyo. If you missed our last video on the cinematography of Tokyo, make sure to check it out, link in the description. An organized file structure is integral to keeping your project organized and efficient. In my experience, there's no one way to organize your files, but I find it's really important to stay clear and consistent. Today, I'll be showing you how I back up my footage for not only music videos, but also for the videos on this channel. As the DMT, I was actively backing up my footage onto hard drives while the shoot was happening. But on a lot of shoots, you might just wait until the end of the shoot to back up all your footage. Regardless, I recommend you back up your footage onto two separate hard drives. This could be two external drives like this, or it could also be one hard drive and your computer's internal hard drive, as long as there's two different places where your footage rests. So let's say we're backing up our footage and this is our first card. Let's plug it into the computer and get started. I typically do all of my video projects under one project folder. In there, I'll create a new folder for our music video project. To name a project folder, I like to start with the date, and then the artist name, and then finally the song name. But this part is totally up to you. Let's say today is February 1st, 2020. Let's name our project 2020, which is the year, hyphen 02, which is the month, hyphen 01, which is the date, underscore Blau, which is our artist name, and underscore Tokyo, which is the name of the song. Now we can easily see all of our projects organized by date if we're in list view and we sort them by name. So in that folder, let's create another folder called 01 Media. You don't need to put a number here, but I like it because it allows me to always have my folders display in the same order. Next, in the Media folder, let's create another folder called 01 Footage and one called O2 Audio. We didn't record any audio for this music video, so we'd only put the artist's song in this audio folder. Now in your footage folder, you can further sort through your footage by scene, or by which card you imported footage from. For YouTube videos, I'll often organize my footage into studio footage, b-roll, and screen recordings. But on our music video, each card that we got was assigned a name so I'm going to organize my footage that way. If we're backing up card A001, we'll call this folder A001. Finally, let's copy this directory of folders that we made onto a second hard drive that we want to back up our footage onto. Now it's time to transfer our footage. Here's the footage from the first media card. It might be tempting to transfer your card's footage onto one hard drive and then copy the footage from that hard drive onto your second drive. However, the safest way to back up your footage is to back up your files onto the first drive and then manually back up your files from the card onto your second drive. Repeat this process for each card and then you'll have the peace of mind that your footage is safe and sound with you, the editor. So now that your footage is backed up, it's time to start organizing it. If you start creating your file structure like I did in the last part of this video, you're already most of the way there. Typically in the project's main directory, beside O1 Media, I'll create a couple more folders called O2 Project Files. This is where my Filmora Pro project files will live. And 03 Exports. This is where my exported files will go. This way, if I ever move my project from one computer to another, all I need is this main project folder. In our media folder, I'll create another folder called 03 Graphics, which is great to use if the artist supplies you with a logo or you create any graphics yourself. So now we should be set to open our video editing software, in my case, Filmora Pro. Let's click Create New Project, and before everything else, I'll save this project using the artist, song, and edit names. Though once again, how you name your project files are totally up to you. I'll save it in the O2 Project Files folder, which I mentioned earlier, and then we can start importing our footage. Now you don't need to do this next step, but I like to customize my workspace for importing and assembly, the very first part of editing. I'm going to move a few panels around and get rid of the ones I don't need. Then I'll go to Window, Workspaces, Save Workspace, and save it as a new workspace. So it's a little bit of work, but I recommend recreating the file structure you used within your media folder. 
So I'll create my footage, audio, and graphics folders, and import my files into each of these. There we go. I'll save my project again, and boom, we're ready to start editing. We'll go into how to edit your first draft in next week's episode of the Filmora music video series. Are there any different ways you guys organize your footage? Let us know in the comments down below. And remember, there's no limit to what you can make.